<sighs> Feeling a little frustrated right now because I told the kids, don't touch the cactus, don't touch the cactus, and what happens? They touch the cactus. Okay, got the bandage on. We are the Ferrells. John, Sarah, Emma, Matthew, Ellie, Alyssa, and Brooke. We sold our stuff and left our home to travel and see the world. And these are our million adventures. Morning. It's chilly out here. So we are in Gila Bend, Arizona. And today we're gonna go visit Organ Pipe National Monument. Lots of cactus, desert. So it should be cool. But today is also a special day because today we are leaving the country and going into Mexico. We're gonna be there for two weeks. So today is the beginning of a big adventure. We're pretty excited, a little bit nervous, honestly. Um, but it should be good. All right, let's go. All right, so we made it to Organ Pipe Visitor Center, but it's closed because of the government shutdown. So we're just gonna drive one of the loops. It's a little unfortunate, can't do the Junior Ranger badge. I guess we'll have to mail it in if we want to do it. Hey girls. Hi. You guys ready to go see some cactuses? Yeah. All right. Hey Matthew. Let's go drive the loop. I've get... already seen some. Okay, get in your seats. Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument is unlike any other national park or monument in the United States. Located in the extreme Southwest of the state of Arizona, Organ Pipe is a showcase for the Sonoran Desert. The park covers 517 square miles of ideal desert habitat and is the only place in the United States where the Organ Pipe cactus grows wild and in abundance. For this reason, the park was declared a UNESCO World Biosphere in 1976. The park is also unique in that it shares 31 miles of international border with Mexico and there's a border crossing at its southern end. The park has two driving loops that pass through different areas of desert environment. Both loops are on graded dirt roads and are suitable for passenger cars. There's a single visitor center named after Ranger Chris Egel, who was shot and killed during a border patrol operation in 2002. As alarming as this is, don't let it scare you from visiting this beautiful and unique landscape. All right, so we're, we're on the Ajo Mountain Loop trail. We just stopped for a moment to just check out some of the cacti. There's these saguaro cactuses in here that are just so impressive. They're just huge. And look at these things. They're amazing. This one looks like it's almost two stories high. Just incredible. Okay, careful guys. Wait, 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 don't, hey, don't run off. There it is. Okay, that guys. That is the organ pipe cactus. Look at that. So this here is the organ pipe cactus. Just don't touch it. Yeah, not touching. And apparently this is the only place in the US that they grow is here. Um, in fact, this is a UNESCO biosphere because it's such a special place preserving all of these uh, amazing cacti and desert plants. So pretty cool. Pretty awesome place. <sighs> Feeling a little frustrated right now because I told the kids, don't touch the cactus, don't touch the cactus. And what happens? They touch the cactus. Ellie got a choya stuck in her palm, which is very painful to remove. I spare you the screaming. She's still crying over there, but we got it removed. This right here is the choya. 
and these spines are terrible. You get these in your hand and they will not come out. They've got little barbs on them and they'll just stick to you. They're terrible. They go in like hypodermic needles and they've got little barbs and so pulling them out, they actually stick. They're really bad. So Ellie just got a bunch in her hand. Maybe we'll ask her later how it felt. But we're gonna continue on now. <laughs> I think Ellie's seen enough cactus. Ellie, how's your hand? A little better. A little better? Let me see. Okay, got the bandage on. That was, that was rough, huh? Those choyas are mean. Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument is a very green desert. The sheer amount of cacti here is staggering, with 28 species living in the park, including the Organ Pipe Cactus, which is found nowhere else in the U.S., although it is prevalent in Mexico. In Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument, two different plant communities come together, the hotter and drier tolerant lower Colorado plants and the wetter Arizona upland plants. For many of these species, this is as north as they can be found, their ranges mostly being in Mexico. All right, stopping for lunch and gonna do a little exploring around here. We're all recovered from the Choya. Huh, Ellie, feeling all right? <laughs> Maybe not quite recovered. The monument is home to many different types of desert animals, although you'd be lucky to spot them. Many of the desert's animals are nocturnal due to the extreme heat of the day. We only saw a few birds and a big lizard in the afternoons we spent there. As is to be expected, the temperatures in the park can be extreme, with highs reaching 118 degrees Fahrenheit in months May through September, and the ground temperature getting up to 175. We visited during the winter, when the temperatures are in the 60s and 70s. So we just hiked up the hill a little ways just to look at some of the desert plants. It's a pretty awesome place. All of these desert plants. You got the archway up there. I wish we could explore all day here, but we've got to drive across the border to Mexico still, so. All right, guys, let's start going down. This is definitely a worthwhile place to visit. So cool. It's just an unreal landscape with so many interesting plants. Who's ready to go to Mexico? 